What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Wesley Fits, where I get my take on fashion, style, lifestyle, with consistent customizing clothes. My name is Wesley Lindsay. How you doing? And it's Grammys night. I'ma talk my shit. It is Grammys night. You can eat up. Anyways, so it's Grammys night. It's the best night of the, the year because I get to see what all the most popping musicians are wearing for the red carpet tonight. And I'm gonna give you guys my take, what I like, what I don't like. If you guys like this kind of content, make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys follow my Instagram at Zaiwes, Z-E-I-T-W-S, where you can find my pit fit fix. And then also make sure you guys follow my TikTok as Wes Fits, where I also post fashion related content. I want to give a disclaimer. This is all my opinion. This is all like fun. At the end of the day, I don't hate any of these celebrities unless you read it aura. And let's just have fun with this. Anyways, let's get into this. <laughs> Ooh, this banner is making me feel some things because Doja Cat is looking good. She is looking mighty, mighty good, good and gorgeous. We got the bling, we got the hair, and we're gonna see the full dress in a second, but I just wanna say she's already eating it up. First, we got Lady Gaga. I love Lady Gaga. She will always be an inspiration. Um, probably one of her most regular granny looks, mainly because she's in this for her like contemporary or original pop music category, the stuff she does with like Tony Bennett or something. So we're not gonna get like the usual like Chromatica Gaga, we're getting like this laid back one. Do I like it? Not really, but it's Lady Gaga and she looks great in a more like normal look. Next we have Dula Peep. Um, honestly, I don't like this one, her. It's a little bit boring for Dua Lipa, like the, like the blonde hair, like the belt stuff. Dula Peep, like she does really good with like, colors like she looks so good in colors and this is just like so ordinary like any bike wear this okay so i don't know their names but i have ultimate respect for bts i have to say the one in the blue like the main one you can see in the photo um we can only really see his fit the best and that blue looks so good and then like that crop on this top looks so good next we have meg the stallion in like this dark Leopard cheetah prints with some gold bangles. What is she wearing? Uh, doesn't tell. Um, mm, it's I, mm, it's like the Grammys, you know. Like I see her give better looks all the time. I guess we got like a. I I don't hate it, but it's just like you know, like I want to see Meg like eating down. I can't say she's eating down right here, but Meg, I love you. I love you. You deserve everything in the world, girl. Oh, next we have John Legend and Chrissy Teigen. I see John Legend is still hitting off that one song. All of me, all of you. And for some reason, they're still inviting Chrissy Teigen to things. Uh, who knows why? She looks like she's dressed for a Kinsey era. I don't know why. It's the Grammys. And I'm just going to pass all the way on this one. I'm going to pass. Okay, Olivia Rodrigo. Man, honestly, I saw this and this looks great. The dress is giving us some contour, like so slim fitting and then it adds to the contour with like the shimmers, the whatever you want to call it. I like it, it looks really good. I wish she had like, you know what would really put it on top? If she had like on top of her gloves and she had like gold fingernails, bruh, all the way. I have to say like, I just wish there was like a gold accent. That would've been crazy. I love this level look on a lot. Olivia Rodrigo. I hope she wins something, mainly because she stole Misery Business from Paramore, and that means Paramore's gonna get another Grammy. So, she, good luck to you, Olivia Rodrigo. Next, I was gonna say uh, Dominic Fike and Hunter Schaefer. J Balvin, what are you wearing? <laughs> um, it's ugly. And Victoria, girl. Um, no, <laughs> she looks like a. She looks like the bottom of the dress reminds you of like a tiki torch or something. Like I'm not feeling this at all. Oh, and then he has like the, what is this, uh, calls? Calls, the, come on, the calls haircut on the back. Okay, no, that even made it worse. <laughs> you could have left that out. Next we have uh, Laverne Cox. She looks like she's going to a funeral. I do like the purple on her, like the purple accents look good, but for some reason, like the tone is given as funeral. Next we have, oh my God, Diplo, and he's aging like a brick. <laughs> <laughs> he is not aging well at all. Ooh, God, Diplo, what happened? Next we got Sweetie. Um, this is a bit boring. This is a bit boring. I think the bra is kind of cool because it's like a different kind of like, you know, silhouette than we're used to, but all in all, it's kind of boring. Like, okay, like she has a short haircut in pink. Like, come on. It's, yeah. Ooh, Halsey, okay, 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 Halsey. Oh, wow, yeah, this is giving us some, this is giving me like, Carmen San Diego vibes. 
I'm liking it. Halsey, like usually she does not knock my socks off and I actually think she's a little bit annoying, but she's actually eating right here. Like I, I like it actually. Oh, Benny Blanco, Benny Blanco and his camel looking ass. I like this. This is actually really nice. This is actually really nice. Like this, come on for the guys. I haven't, there haven't seen a lot of guys yet, but I'm just gonna assume he's like one of the best dressed because usually the guys give us nothing. So Benny, <laughs> Benny Baco is automatically getting a Grammy for best dress because he's actually trying. Uh, Japanese breakfast um, is giving me like kid in a bathtub, rubber ducky vibes. So this is a no. <laughs> and then honestly too, like the shoes, like if you're going to wear, have like this yellow moment, then get some yellow shoes, man. Like get some yellow shoes. Like you just lose me at the shoes. It's like, you didn't have anything else to go with it. So you put on the shoes. Next we have Questlove. Shout out to Questlove. And he's wearing the Salehi uh, Crocs. So, I mean, that was like one of the most coveted items of all last year when it comes to like streetwear or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I like this. He's eaten down. The glasses look great. The color is great. We have like this almost like Midnight grape color, almost a flavor. Oh, it looks so good. Like, oh my God, Questlove looks so good, dude. Okay, next we have Doja Cat. And we can actually see just the dress and everything. Like Doja, this is like, come on now. Come on, I'm gonna say, let's say uh, Planet Her for album of the year or whatever she's up for. Um, Planet Her for sure. Doja's just, wow. The hair, the layering, just everything. Like Doja looks so good. The color looks so good on her. It's giving us like a blue pearl kind of look, like a, almost like an iridescence to it. Like she looks like a Final Fantasy character and she looks so good. Ooh, I don't know who these guys are, but they got my attention. Bomba Stereo. Oh, I like them. This is, I mean, come on. This is 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I can see the rest of BTS. Yeah, honestly, the guy in the blue, he has my favorite fit. The one in the middle. Like, this is the best one. I do like his hair right here. That's really cool. And also, like, the, the big faux flowers are really cool. Um, I think that's a moment, but I think him in the middle, he's eating for sure. I don't know who he is, but shouts to him. Okay, next we can see the rest of Billie Eilish. You know what? Actually, I kind of like it. I'm kind of like it. I'm not going to lie. It's like a double, like, trench coat kind of thing. Like, this is giving me, like, Balenciaga meme material. Um, at first, like, the first thing I saw, didn't like it, but now I can see it from the front. It looks really cool. Only thing I really don't like as much are the boots because they're giving me, like, Balenciaga um, sock shoe, and I've always hated those, and now it's 2022, like, six years later, so I don't want to see those, like, ever again in my life, but, um, I like this. Like, the glasses, the hair, it's giving me spice, it's giving me punk, it's giving me everything it needs to. Like, this looks great on her. Oh, we got the Biebs. Oh, Bieber. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. He got the Balenciaga big Crocs. He got, oh, God. This is not... Like, I get it. Like, I get what you're trying to do. Like, I'm not hating it because it's it. It just doesn't look good. Oh, Bieber. Come on, dude. I, thumbs down. Leon Bridges, man. Wow, this is nice. This is nice. Um, I don't know what his usual hairstyle uh, style is. I wish it wasn't pulled to the back. I wish it was, like, down. Um, that would be really cool. But this, this, this suit amazing like some of the guys here this year are really bringing the looks like this is great you know what kid Leroy? i'm gonna give it to you i'm gonna give it to you kid Leroy. i'm gonna give it to you i'm gonna give it to you i like it i like it i like it kid Leroy. i like it i like it i don't like the boots but i like everything else i'll give it to you kid Leroy. you're looking good you're getting your look i like it the hair i appreciate it <gasps> wow okay this is going to Obviously, one of the worst look of the night is going to tie dollar sign because the top, UK, okay, okay, okay. But the second I see them pants coming through, the second I saw Pete the pants, I knew it was not gonna go. It was not gonna go good. It was gonna go downhill from there. Um, wow, the pants are just too, just too skinny. We got the leather pants and then we got the boots that look like they barely fit on him. Yeah, wow, like literally everything from like the jacket up. Okay, cool. Jacket down, terrible, bad, ugly. Wow, title of a sign. Wow, Phineas, Phineas. I'll give it to you, Phineas. I like this, Phineas. This looks really good, Phineas. 
This looks really good. And he's looking at his little pose. He got the smile. He knows he's looking good. Phineas, I'm gonna give it to you. This looks good. I like this, Phineas. Ooh, so we got Montero. We got Lil Nas X himself with his beautiful date, Jack Carlo. Oh man, Lil Nas X, like, he's always gonna give us something. Like, that's what I like about him. Anytime he goes out, anytime there's a award event, he knows this is a moment, so he's gonna go for it. And I mean, this looks great. Like, it's giving me the theme of his album, um, and it looks great. Jack Carlo, um, it's giving me straight man, and that's okay, but actually, I think, like, this tux is like actually a bit of a different silhouette than we're used to. Like it's it's contrasting like in the thighs. We're getting like some kind of like more contrasting the shape and then that pin right there really makes it stand out. So I think they look great. Kamasi Washington. I don't know who, who you are, but that pattern is insane. The color, wow. I like the pattern is so nice. I wish I had more. But you know what, it's probably best you didn't give me more because this looks so good. Um, I saw this on Twitter, trashy, ugly, hated, dismal, um, that ugly prom couple, take it back, why are you there? Um, do not proceed. Anyways, hope you guys, uh, anyways, I hope you guys like my opinions about the red carpet looks for our celebs. Um, for the Grammys 2022. Let me know who are some of your favorites, some of your least favorites. If there's anything you disagree with me about on here, that's totally fine, that's okay. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, make sure you give it a like. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because I'm always dropping in fashion content. We just hit 200 subscribers, so shout outs to us. And then make sure you guys follow my Instagram at ZietWest, Z-E-I-T-W-S, to find my fit pics. Also make sure you guys follow me on TikTok because I'm gonna be dropping some TikTok content on there. Anyways, you guys, I love you, I appreciate you, and I'll see you guys soon for another video.